So I'm Laura Campbell and I'm Marketing Project Manager at Elements. And if you don't know Elements, we are a Platinum Atlassian Marketplace vendor and we have three Jira apps and one Confluence app on the Atlassian Marketplace. So tonight uh, I'll be showing you five ways you can leverage your external data inside Jira with our app Elements Connect. And the idea is to give you an overview of what you can do with the app and hopefully you'll get some ideas that you can take back to your office. So if you're here, it's because you use Atlassian tools like Jira in your business, but obviously that's not the only tool that you use. Uh, you might have a CRM like Salesforce, uh, an LDAP with employee details, Confluence, Okta, or another identity and access management system, uh, maybe an internally developed a tool or a database. But if the tools can't talk to each other, if you can't get data into Jira, like here there's some Salesforce data that uh, it's blocked, uh, you can end up wasting a lot of time looking for the information, manually copying and pasting. And uh, there's a lot of space to make mistakes when you do that. Uh, so now imagine that Jira can be the hub uh, in your information system with all the data from your different tools and your databases available in context to Jira users. And that's where the app Elements Connect comes in. So Elements Connect allows you to bring external data inside Jira issues. Your data could be from an SQL database, uh, REST APIs, or even Jira itself. It's available in server and data center and the cloud version was just released in October. So I'll be showing you um, use cases from both and you'll be able to see the new cloud version at the end of today's presentation. So I'm gonna show you five ways you can leverage external data inside JIRA. So we'll start uh, by looking at how you can get information from your employees from an uh, LDAP inside Jira issues. Then we'll see how you can connect a Jira to a product, product catalog like uh, Best Buy. We'll use the Best Buy REST API uh, and we'll display details from the catalog in the Jira issues. We'll also see how you can connect a Jira to Salesforce and get details about your deals, accounts, contacts, things like that. Uh, we'll also see how you can connect to Jira to status page. So users can get real-time information about your systems when they go to raise a request about an incident. And uh, the last example will be with a custom database and we'll use our new cloud version. And you'll see how you can bring data from a PostgreSQL database inside your service management cloud. And hopefully by the end, you'll have a few ideas to build your own use case. So we can get started. Uh, we're gonna look at first four examples that use the server or data center version of Elements Connect, and then we'll go to the, the cloud version. So the first example I want us to explore is how you can get employee details from an LDAP into Jira issues. So in this example, we'll fetch data about an employee from within a Jira issue. So here we have, uh, uh, we're using actually the Elements Connect demo portal. Um, I'll give you an address for this at the end, you can try it out. Uh, but this portal is set up with a very simplified view of a Jira service management customer portal. And we just have two Elements Connect custom fields uh, displayed here, nothing else. Uh, so the first one is a drop down list that will allow us to select an employee. And then we have a second Elements Connect field that is a read-only field, and it will display details based on the selection made in the first field. So if I go and click and start uh, typing, and I can select an employee, uh, Hubert, and then the read-only field displays a number of details, position, phone number, email address, etc. So one thing I want to draw your attention to is that you can customize how you display your information using HTML. So we have a little image in the background, all that has been configured with uh, Elements Connect. So how can this be useful for you? You can display information about the reporter of an issue. 
so you can give more context to your JIRA agents, or you could use this to manage access requests, depending on data that's stored in the LDAP, like an office location or a department. Uh, or you could use it to set a user's manager as the approver of a ticket. So how does that work? You can use velocity variables to fetch the current manager's user and then set the manager as the approver of the ticket. So we can move on to uh, the second use case. Uh, so here we're going to look at product details. And for this example, we're going to use Elements Connect to fetch data from the Best Buy product catalog using the Best Buy REST API. So if you don't know Best Buy, it's a um, big store in, in America that sells everything that's consumer electronics. So here we again, we have uh, the simplified JIRA service management portal. And now we have three Elements Connect custom fields that are set up. So the first is a dropdown list to search uh, the categories. And the second field is a dependent field. And we'll be able to find products that match the category we selected. And then the last field is a read only to display details of the product that we've selected. So let's see what this looks like in action. So we can start typing and we have an autocomplete that will bring up everything that matches what we typed. So we can select computers and tablets. And then I can start typing for products that match that category. And we're only seeing products in the computers and tablets category. And then the last uh, field fetches a number of different details about the product, including the photo description and uh, price. So how could you use this example? Some popular use cases are to place orders to a supplier with a live update of price and availability of products. On the supplier side, you can give access to your own catalog via JIRA. And you could go a step further by creating a quote generator, uh, connecting to a catalog and adding several products. So now we can look at how you can fetch details about clients from a CRM like Salesforce and display customer data inside JIRA issues. And we're able to fetch data from Salesforce using its REST API. And this actually would be very similar if you're using another CRM uh, that provides a REST API. So the previous uh, demos were on a simplified Jira service management uh, for server. But since Elements Connect works just the same for Jira core and software, we can mix things up a little bit and use an example of Jira software uh, for this example with Salesforce. So here we have a sales project and we're in the middle of creating a pre-sales request. And most of the information has already been filled in um, about the work that's needed, but we have um, three elements connect custom fields that need to be used. The first one is for the Salesforce account, then the Salesforce contact for this particular account, again with a dependency. And then the Salesforce opportunities that are related to the sales account. So you can see how this works. So we can start typing for uh, to find the Salesforce account and we select that. And then you can see it's updating and select just uh, the contact that we want. And then the relevant Salesforce opportunities to create the issue. And now in the issue view, we can see that there are two different tabs with some additional information on this sales opportunities tab with the amount and the stage of the opportunity. Uh, and uh, these tabs are actually just native JIRA functionalities, but you can easily configure Elements Connect fields to display different data in different tabs, as well as you said, different data between the issue creation um, and the issue view. So, how can this be useful for you? Like in the example we just saw, you can close the information gap between your sales and project teams when they manage pre-sales requests in JIRA. Another common use case is to enhance customer support by fetching details about clients and their company when they raise a request on your support portal. 
So your agents can have more context, such as a number of users, a purchase history, uh, maybe additional contact information, phone number, a language preference, or anything else that's in your CRM that can be helpful for agents to resolve issues. Uh, and this way they don't have to go and look up the person in the CRM and look for the information. It can all be displayed within the JIRA issue. So now in this fourth use case, I'm going to show you how you can provide JIRA users with up-to-date service status information. So as you know, status page allows you to be transparent about the status of the services you provide, whether it's JIRA or Confluence or a custom internal server. But you might not know that you can bring information from status page directly inside JIRA issues. So we can go back to the JIRA service management portal. And here we have uh, just two elements connect fields and then the standard summary field. And the elements connect fields have been set up to fetch the service status from Atlassian's own status page. And the first field will provide us with a list of Atlassian tools. And the second field will display the status of the tool we picked in the first field. So here we can start typing in the summary. We see that we have problem with Jira and we can select what we need. So it's Jira software. And uh, we can see that the service is currently operational. So the agent will know to investigate other sources of the problem. So this integration can be very useful if you want to inform users of a service's current status while they raise an incident and your agents will have the information as well. If you use status page with a CMDB, agents will have the details about the asset as well as the server status all within the ticket. It's also useful if you want to give real-time uh, information on your services, for example, for planned maintenance. Elements connect live fields when you always have real-time information. Um, an additional benefit of uh, fetching status page information with Elements Connect is that you don't have to increase your tier of subscribers. Depending on how many users you have, this can be a big money saver. So uh, this is the last example for uh, Jira Server and Data Center. And now we can move uh, to the examples of Elements Connect for Jira Cloud. So we have tail of a broken printer. So for this example, we're using a fictitious company called Tellurian. And Tellurian manufactures and sells environmental remediation robots or depollution robots. And they have a number of uh, offices around the world. We're gonna play the role of Carlos who works in the New York office. So Carlos is the head of engineering in the New York office, and he has an issue with his printer. Uh, so he'll go to the Tellurian uh, Jira service management portal to report a maintenance issue. And before we see how Carlos can make a request in Jira Service Management Cloud, it's important to mention that Tellurian's assets are stored in a CMDB, and this CMDB uses a PostgreSQL database. So we're gonna use Elements Connect to fetch data from the PostgreSQL database and display it in the Jira Service Management Cloud. So this should be uh, useful uh, for both users and agents. And I'm just realizing this is maybe going to get this over here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's see how this works. So let's look at the customer experience uh, using Elements Connect. So here, um, if we're playing the role as Carlos, we are logged in as Carlos and we're gonna create uh, the uh, request. So we're gonna enter some information like the summary, the type of maintenance is needed and uh, the details of the maintenance issue. But there are two Elements Connect connected items below so we're gonna be able to go a little bit further. 
So we have um, a uh, connected item printer offices and printer. And uh, there's a dependency between these issues. So if uh, we go and open up, we can see all the different offices. We can select the New York office. And then in the second field, we'll only see the printers that are available in this office. So if we'd selected a different uh, office, say Dubai, here we see we have the engineering uh, uh, printers on the third floor, but we're not in Dubai. Carlos is in New York. So if we select the New York office, then we can select engineering, which is on the seventh floor. We have the right printer and we can create the uh, issue. Didn't have to look up any uh, reference number. Uh, it was really easy for Carlos. So now if we uh, go to Susie, she's the office coordinator, go to Susie's point of view. She has a new issue that's been created in Jira Service Management. And over on the right hand side, there is a glance view for the connected items for Elements Connect. So if Susie opens uh, the connected items, uh, there are the two connected items that Carlos selected when he created the issue, as well as a third connected item with an image and some details like the reference, uh, the brand maintenance. We can see this nice visual cue that the printer is still under maintenance of all this extra information. If Carlos had made a mistake, uh, Susie can uh, edit the connected item from the agent view. There's no problem about uh, editing connected items. Uh, but Susie had all the information. She uh, knew that um, the printer is under maintenance. And so she's able to uh, reply to Carlos. And uh, here we're able to configure certain information on the portal for the employee and extra information for the agent. You know, the, the reference number, Carlos didn't need that, but we were able to personalize based on uh, who needed the information. So now we can go take a look at what it's like for the support manager. So the support manager has configured some queues in order to filter issues based on the offices. So we have one queue for the New York office and one queue for the Hong Kong office. And this is basically filtering the um, issues uh, based on the office. So how does this work? Elements connect connected items have mirror fields and those can be used in the JQL to uh, create filters for the queues. So uh, you can really personalize things based off of the information from the CMDB. So to sum things up, thanks to Elements Connect, the office coordinator had all the information that she needed in order to reply to uh, Carlos. And the support manager could even customize the experience with specific cues for the different offices based on information from the external data source, that CMDB. So that's the end of the uh, cloud uh, demonstration. Uh, so the demos that I showed you in the beginning um, are actually available on the Elements Connect demo portal, and that's available at the link you see here, connect-demo.elements.apps.com. This is a free portal, you just need to create an account, but if you want to go and go through the uh, use cases that I showed in the beginning, you can actually try them out yourself. And if there's a use case that you want to try on your own instance, We've tried to make it as easy as possible by providing the field configurations available for download on the Elements Connect documentation. Um, so if, uh, for example, the uh, LDAP or the Best Buy uh, use case you'd like to, to try out, you can actually just download the fields and uh, then try them on your own uh, instance. So just a quick note that this demo portal is just for the server and data center use cases. But if you want to experiment with the cloud version of Elements Connect, there are several pre-configured examples available in app. So when you start a trial, you can test out the app without having to implement a use case from zero. So that's all from me. So I hope uh, you've gotten some ideas for different ways that you could bring your external data uh, uh, inside JIRA. If there are any questions, uh, I'd be happy to answer them. <laughs>